Well, Paul, um, nine goals, um, you must be pretty pleased with that. Yeah, I am pleased. We had a week off last week, Andrew, and uh, you always hope that that doesn't, uh, although it's, it's good, I think, because it's been a pretty busy season so far, that it, that it doesn't have the, uh, a negative effect on the players. Uh, but they certainly came out the blocks uh, really sharply today, uh, played with the intensity that we needed to play with, and, um, and we were pretty clinical in front of goal today. Uh, so that was, uh, I think, helped what was a, a very comprehensive win today. But again, all credit to Denham. They kept going for 90 minutes. Um, got some quality in that side, but I think a little bit too strong uh, today. And obviously, when you got promoted, you strengthened the side considerably. So it is a different side from uh, last season in many areas. Yeah. But could you have imagined when you got promoted that you would go back to scoring you know, nine goals in a single game? Um, no, I mean the, the the I mean I've said this and I'll say this again. There's some very good sides in this in this league. Um, I think, like many leagues, it's probably a league of two halves. Um, you know, Denham. I think pro probably this season aren't as strong as they've been in pre previous seasons, but they have got some good young players. There's no question. Um, so we've you know we've got players. You know, well we know the quality we've got in our wide players with with Emma with with Faye Rabson. Uh, we've, we've, we've Sean, with uh, Kamina, who uh, you've just been speaking to. We've got quality in those players. We've got players with, with you know, fitness levels which now perhaps have exceeded what, what the club has had before. Uh, and that's certainly, I think, uh, showing through very strongly in the performances, really. We, you know, we, we hold quite a, quite a competitive threat going forward. Looking then to Sunday, next mm. Sunday, mm. and the FA Cup game with Chichester, second mm. round. Mm. Um, without wanting to build it up, because it is a game that, that, that you feel you'll be very competitive in, but it is still a big day for the club. Yeah, it's, it, it, it is a big day for the club. I mean, I, to be perfectly honest, I mean, I wish we'd met, were meeting Chichester in the, in the third round or, or, you know, or beyond, because uh, they're, a su they're a super club. They will want to be having a, a run in the, in the competition. Um, so, I, th I think for the cl for the club, as I've said before, the second round of the FA Cup is, is exciting. I'm hoping we're going to get a really good crowd there. It's going to be a very good game. I mean, Chai are a very good side, um, so I think it's going to be a, a very well matched game. Um, shame we picked up the injury to Emma today, but uh, that's probably the only detraction in terms of our preparation for for, ne for next week. Uh, but yeah, for the club. It's going to be a super super day, but presumably, obviously, you'll check on Ember and uh, and see how things are with her. Yeah, we will do, and uh, we will get a straight uh, into uh, see 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 work with the physios. Um, it's just one of those bizarre things, I think, that that, that, that uh, happened out there today with her. She was having such a super game as well, and I mean, her pace is electric. And looking at that game as an occasion, um, yeah. trying to get obviously a lot of fans behind you because yeah. a twelfth man could be all important on the day. Yeah, it certainly could, and uh, I know that we are working hard to sort of promote the game this week. Um, I mean, Chichester are a very well supported uh, club, uh, so we expect them to bring a good contingent of, uh, of, of people to watch the game. Uh, so I think, you know, if we can get the media right, which uh, one of your jobs there, Andrew, if we can get all that aspect right, uh, and we can create the, uh, the interest, um, it could be a great occasion. And you'll be expecting, as you said before, to be competitive in that game because obviously you won at Oxford in, in, in that division in the League Cup. Um, uh, although Chichester are flying high at the top of that division, um, you know you expect to give them a real game. Yeah, no, no, I know, I know. I mean, I've, I've seen their, their manager here today, and I'd, I'd be doing the same. To be perfectly honest, if I'd have had a week off, I'd, I'd be coming to have a have a little look. Um, I think that uh, it will be a very competitive game. I think. Uh, you know our form is is reflected in our league position, reflected in our uh, you know performances this this year. Chai equally in in their league. Uh, so what you've got is you've got two very informed sides with a lot of quality players in the squads on on both sides. Um, that's going to be a very you know a physical contest. I mean I don't think conditions are going to be easy next week with uh, with the predicted weather. So it's going to be a physical contest, uh, which which we will prepare for and we'll expect with uh, Chichester uh, but I think there's, as I've said before there's going to be some real quality footballers on, on display and I, as I said I, I wouldn't like to predict the outcome. Thank you Paul. No problem.